Hey YouTube. So first of all, my male L400 is out. He's looking very pretty. He's gotten a little bit bigger now. But I moved across the country with my fish tank. Um, I dropped off six x-ray tetras with my mom. She's got those in her fish tank now. I kept six for myself. I think I have four females and two males. So maybe they'll breed again. The green glowfish tetra hasn't been doing so well. He's just been kind of laying in the in all the plants and things, just kind of using him as a hammock. I'm not sure if he's feeling sick or what's going on, but he's the only one. I also have lost a snail, but she wasn't doing well uh, before the move. So I'm just keeping the shell in there as decoration anymore. The Garami has some weird white spots on her eyes right over the pupil. I'm not sure if it's cataracts or some disease, but I've been treating with Paragard. Those started a while ago. I have tons and tons of shrimp. I don't think any of my other plecos are out. One lives in this great cave here, and one lives down here underneath all the plants. But they're only there temporarily. Like I said, this is my male. He's gotten a lot bigger. He's real pretty. He's got another two years or so before he's able to breed. My x-rays all look really good. They're growing up. There's another one in this school that's hiding somewhere. The purple glowfish tetra is doing well. Yeah, so that's, that's the tank. There's not much else to say about it besides everything survived except for the snail. The green tetra wasn't doing well before the move, and uh, he's, I'm surprised he's hung on this long. I picked up some java fern that I'm going to spread out when I take, get my 30-gallon tank back with the movers. That came from my mom. And then there's some water spray back in there, too, that I'm going to try again. Obviously, I have some crypts. I left some crypts with a friend and some shrimp with a friend. And I still don't know what this long, spindly plant is. Here's one that's growing from the gravel. I don't know what that is, but... The Garami's doing well. None of my plecos. Other ones are out. Alright. There's some baby shrimp. Can see him moving around there. So my shrimp have had babies in here. That's excellent news. This is our cat, Iggy. She's just over a year old. Iggy. What's up? Come here. Good girl. We worked really hard training her. This is also going to document our new apartment. Uh, so that I can share it with my friends. So this is kind of the living area. There's Clark the snake. This is the living area. The kitchen. Fish tanks residing here for now on the counter. But once I get my 30 gallon back, I'm gonna put it somewhere along this wall, I think. We have a balcony and a small fireplace. Not much of a view from the balcony though. 
Alright, I'll go back to the fish tanks now. We'll see if my my male pleco is hiding still. We'll see if there's anything back here you can see since there's more light. Nope, everything's hiding. The Garami's out though. You can see her eyes. If anybody knows what kind of disease that is, I would really appreciate the help, but I found like three or four forum posts showing those white spots on their eyes. They tended to go away after a couple of months, so I'm not getting too worried. We'll see what happens with her. And then with these plecos, the zebras and the L400s and stuff, the Ryu Shingu, uh, all you generally see is their tail. So they'll live in the cave and only show their tail most of the day. That's how I've been seeing them most of the move. I just confirmed all three were alive last night, so that was pretty exciting. When I moved, our car had a power inverter in it, and uh, I just kept the heater and the air pump for the sponge filter plugged in. I didn't run the main filter up top, and I had the water down to about here. So it was about three quarters full. And that's how I moved it. We drove from the east coast to the west coast of the country. And while the temperature didn't maintain itself perfectly, I normally keep it at around 70, or I'm sorry, 81. It dropped to 68 at one point, but about 72, the rest. Everything made it, uh, but it was a little nerve wracking there when I first saw the tank drop in temperature. I tried to insulate it with like coats and things as we were driving across the cold parts of the country. So there's Princess Peach, the Pleco tail, and sorry this was a long one but it was kind of an update of a lot of different things so thanks for watching.